Python strings is the favorite topic of many interviewers. So you should make sure that you are prepared well in solving the programming questions related to the Python strings. Hi, my name is Rohit and in today's video, we would cover some programming questions related to the Python strings. Those questions would help you in developing your problem solving skills. So let's get started. So the first question that we have is we have a text over here. Text is equal to I am data scientist with 10 years of experience. And our task is we want to print the words with four or more characters. So let's start with this solution. So first of all, we'll have to traverse over this sentence. So let's use for loop. So for word in text. So here we want to split this sentence into words because we want to check the length of each word. So for doing that, you can use the split function within string. So for word in text dot split, then we have to put a condition on length. So if length of word is greater than or equal to four, because we want all the words with four or more characters, then we want to print those words, right? So print word, right? So let's try to run this. So here you can see all the words in this particular sentence, which has four or more characters are printed. So word I and M, they are having one and two characters respectively. So those are not printed. Then word data has four characters. So this condition is met and we can see the data printed over here. Similarly, scientist has more than four characters. So we can see scientist printed over here. So this is how using the split function and the if condition, we are able to solve this problem. One thing to remember in this is like when you want to split the sentence into words, always use the split function. If you don't use split function and if you simply write for loop on the text, something like for word in text and maybe let's just print what we are getting. So if you do this, you would start getting the characters instead of the words. So in every iteration, you would just get single character I, then space, then A, then M. So remember that when you want to check for words within sentence, you have to use split function. Now let's go to our second problem statement. So here we are given a word, word is equal to data science and we want to create a new word, which is reverse of the above word. Okay. So we basically want to reverse this word. So our new word should start with E then C then N. So this is how we want the reverse ordered word creating based on the input that we have. Now let's try to solve this. So let's do this. New word. So we are just initiating a new variable over here. Okay. So we want to start from the last position. So let's create a variable Z which measures the length of the input word. And now we want to start from the last position, right? Last, then second, last, because we want to come in reverse order. So maybe let's use a while loop. While Z is greater than or equal to one, I will explain this condition as we write the logic. Then we want to keep updating the new word. So what we are doing is we are going character by character in the original word, but we are coming in reverse order. So here word in bracket Z minus one. So Z is length here. We are initiating the value in Z as the length of this word. So Z minus one would be the character at the last position. So at the beginning, we want to add the character at the last position because we want to reverse this particular word. And then we should keep decrementing Z because we want to come in the reverse order last, then second, last, then third, last in this order, we want to traverse this particular word. And maybe let's print the new word creator after every iteration of the loop so that you get clarity. Okay. And let's also print the final outcome. So as you see here, initially we have printed E, the last character, then E, C, last and second last. So this is how in every iteration we are going 
and adding the words or adding the characters in the reverse order and at the end we are able to get the word which is reverse of our original word so this was our original word so if you see here the reverse words created should be e c n e c n e i c e i c then s a t s a t and a d a d so this is how we are able to use indexing on the string along with the while loop to reverse the string now let's go to our third question so here we have a word learning python and we have to write a function to shift characters in a string by n positions to the right okay so based on the parameter passed to the function we want to shift the characters so basically for example if we say that we want to shift characters in this string to the right by three positions then l currently it reads at index 0 it should go to index 3 then e should go to index 4 so everything would get shifted to the right by 3 and words at the end or the characters at the end would come at the beginning because we have to shift every character by three positions to the right now let's try to write a logic for this first okay let's create a new variable length is equal to length of word now in this we want to shift to the right okay so again let's initiate a new word new word so shift by n positions so let's do this then word in this we want to shift to the right so we want to take all the words right from the beginning and then we want to shift them let's say this is our n let's define some value for n okay so let's say n is equal to 3 so what this would do is it this would check the length so length minus n so basically it would come here if n is 3 it would be here and it would take everything starting from length minus l till the end of this particular word so let's try what we are getting so we are getting n c e just a moment updating the word right so we are getting h o n so basically this these are the last three characters in this particular word so we are taking all the characters from length minus n till the end now we want this to be at the beginning right because we are shifting them to the right so when we shift these characters to the right there is nothing over here so everything would get shifted at the beginning and to this we have to add remaining words as well right the words at the beginning so maybe we can do that using this so all the words right from the beginning till this position so if we run this we are getting learning pyt so we are getting all the characters till here now to shift this right to give, get the output in the form of shifted we can do something like this new word is equal to first of all we should add this word plus this new word and maybe let's print what is created so as you can see here now every character in this particular word it's shifted to the right by three positions so l was at index 0 now it is at index 3 0 1 2 3 e was at index 1 now it is at index 
and the characters which were at the end they got shifted to the right and that's why they came at the beginning so we have h o n at the beginning now because everything got shifted now we want this in the form of function right and we want it where we can pass any n so maybe let's now we have written a logic now let's write a function shift character and to that we should always pass the input word and the number of positions so let's say n and in that we can write our logic so we are first checking the length of a word then we are creating a new variable maybe this is not needed because we are we can write the value directly and then we should return the new word which is created okay let's run this okay now let's call this function okay and number of positions say 3 let's run this line so as you can see here we are getting every word shifted by three positions so maybe now let's test with other values every word shifted by one position let's run this now you can see l was at the beginning now it got shifted to the right by one position maybe every word shifted by say seven positions so we are able to write the function which is shifting the words in a string to the right based on the word and the number of positions provided by the user that's it for today if you have any problems related to the questions which we covered on the python strings let me know in the comments in the next video we would start with python data structures so data structures like list set tuples and dictionaries so stay tuned keep writing code in python and i would see you in the next video bye bye